everyone this is Terry and this is part two of a series showing you how to create user map text in PE Design 11. This video will cover how to import a batch file to create that text. The first thing I want to show you is by looking at the help file which I already have open you will see that in order to import a batch file for user map text that you have to prepare the embroidery data and that data has to be prepared in a certain way that so that the names of the embroidery files are unique so for all uppercase letters you need to add the u underscore to the beginning of the letter name so that would be like u underscore a u underscore b and you need to add the name l for lowercase underscore like l underscore lowercase a l underscore lowercase b in addition to that you have to make some changes for those special characters and those are defined here for instance the question mark is s underscore qm now what the the reference manual doesn't tell you is how to designate a number like a numeral and I'm making some assumptions that because the uppercase was a u and the lowercase was an L. I'm going to try to use an N. That may be wrong and it may not open the file and if that's the case I'll delete those characters. So let's start. You need to watch part one of this video so you'll know what we're doing. This is not a standalone video so please keep that in mind. The first thing we want to do is go to the file. So I have gone into my, my font library and I have a font that I named quirky girl batch 2 and we'll go into that and I've I've already changed the names of, for some of the embroidery designs let me change a few more and while I mention it I use some other embroidery software and my icons may look different than yours my, this is coming from my Bernina software which tends to change all the icons on my uh, PC to look like those within their software. I apologize if it's confusing to you, but that's why it looks like that. All right, the first thing I want to do is, uh, if we remember, uh, the uppercase had to have a U. So what I'm going to do is click on this um, file I'm going to right click choose rename and I have to rename it and this is a capital C I need to uh, enter U underscore C now let's uh, the special character for a question mark let's go back and look at what it has for a question mark it's S underscore QM so I'll go back to that file let me tab to get to it and I'll put um, here it is I'll rename that and that's SC underscore QM I believe that's the correct naming let me check that no just S Oops, let me get back. Sorry about that. I'm going to have a trip around the world here. Let me rename this again. So that's just S. All right. And this right here is a lowercase e, so I need to rename that. And that's going to be L underscore E. Now, I've already gone through just a few files while I'm talking to you. Obviously it takes time to record and talk at the same time, but you can already see I didn't import all of this file. If I had, I would have had over 60 or 70 characters. I only renamed a few of them and it takes time. And for this reason, I will not use the batch mode, but I want to show you how it works. And we may have some problems with these numerals, but we'll find out if it works or not. So after we've done that, 
we need to go back into layout and editing and choose the option. And now what I want to do is go into option and choose font creator. From font creator, I'll choose cancel and I need to choose the A and we need to do a new font mapping. I'll choose set the uh, standard height from the M. Uh, actually, I can't choose the M because I don't think I have an M in this file. So I'll have to choose a different character. I want to choose the Quirky Girl Batch 2 and we'll choose the D and I'll choose OK. Now what I want to do is go to multiple import and it gives me the option to either deselect all or select all. I'm going to leave it with the characters selected. If you notice, there's a little red line around them, and I'll choose import. Now, what I'll do is I'll look at the characters to see if it imported them correctly. And specifically, I want to see if it imported the 0 and 1, and it did not. So my guess that M was what needed to prefix numerals was wrong. I'll have to find out from Brother what to use because it's not an N. So let's just go ahead and choose Close. If we look at the Browse Characters, uh, excuse me, if we look at, let me close that again. If we look at the Browse Characters, we can see which characters have been mapped. If I want to go in and map those zero and the zero and one right now, I can do that, but I have to do it as a single import. So I can import it and I can go ahead and select the one and import it as well. So let's close this. Uh, we will go ahead and do file save as, and because this is a, a new file, I need to tell the system what the file is. It's a PFK file. And that is that it's the Quirky Girl uh, underscore, and I'm ca I called it Batch 2. But normally if I had loaded this in a batch format, I would have probably just used the number like 2 for the 2 inch high and choose Save. All right, and now what I'm going to do is exit the software. And as I told you earlier in earlier, vid my earlier videos, I found when I went into the uh, fonts that were user mapped, I don't see them on the list. And for that reason, I've exited from the software. It's going to ask me if I want to save this file, and I'll say no. And let me close some of these other windows. And I'll go back into PE Design. Close the wizard. Choose the text file. And look for the Quirky Girl Batch 2. Now, what you see when you open that file is because I did not enter all the characters there was a, a box at the beginning because it comes up with ABC but if I type the fonts that I have entered B C D E and let's just go ahead and do the control key and enter and type the B C E that I also entered so this is how you can use the batch mode function. I agree that it is fast if you have the files named in that naming convention, but if you do not, it is very slow to rename the files. And I hope that this video is helpful to you. Have a good day.